ever seen lead lights or stained glass windows? Of course you have. Which one of these four is a real lead light? Is it the fish? Is it the triangle? Is it the butterfly or the sun? Only one of them is a real lead light. You've made up your mind? Well, actually, it's the triangle. That one has real lead in it and real pieces of glass. The others are all plastic imitations, yet they all give the same effect. Bright colours with light behind them. Real lead lights have little channels of lead and they have real pieces of glass which fit into those channels and they're intricately soldered together. Sections of glass are cut out and all fitted together to make a window which gives that sort of effect. But the plastic imitations are much easier and certainly much cheaper to make and you can make them yourself. There are a number of ways of doing it. One way is to buy a kit that has in it a little frame and here's a, a frame from a plastic kit very similar to the one that made the fish, the butterfly and the sun. This one is for a flower as you can see. That's made of metal and coming with the kit are little packages of plastic beads. What you do is to decide which colour you want where and then pop the plastic beads into the appropriate place. There's the centre of the flower if we want it purple, if we want petals pink, we put uh, the pink bits in the ones we want pink, we could put white, green, all sorts of things there. And then you do this on an aluminium pie dish or an oven tray foil and then you put the whole thing in an oven. The plastic melts and you get that effect. Those kits cost several dollars each. You can get the same effect for no cost at all using odds and ends around the home. Here's what you do. First of all, scrounge around the kitchen and the bathroom until you found, find clear plastic things that have been tossed out. Things like pill bottles. There we are. There's a nice green clear plastic pill bottle. Then with a pair of pliers, what you do is break off little pieces of that plastic and make a little heap of those. There we are, like that. See if you can find some of another colour. Here's a little box that is made of red plastic. Break off pieces there make a heap of those. I've also collected little bits and pieces of a comb that was partly broken anyway and those teeth of the comb are an orangey brown colour. There we are. If you want clear sections you can break up an old ballpoint pen case or a little lolly box. If you want other colours you can use old toothbrushes, buttons and all sorts of clear plastic things that you might find around the home. Next you need to make your metal frame. That's easy too. Use some pieces of aluminium foil ordinary cooking aluminium foil and then roll it up into little strips. Do this carefully and you'll end up with little strips like that. You use that to bend into the shapes that you want. For example if I want a triangle I can simply bend this into a triangle of any size or shape that I want. There we are there. And I can wrap another piece around to make it stable. Well I've already done that over here as you can see. Can you guess what I'm going to make? I've used a triangle and a little four-sided tub and some copper wire to join the bits together, I'm going to make a Christmas tree. Here's what I do. Take an aluminium pie dish once again, place that down as flat as you can on it, and then decide which colour you want where. Well, you guessed it, I want green for the leaves of the tree. So I drop in some little chips of plastic in that position there, and uh, then I decide I want a red tub, so I take some little red chips and drop them in the base, like so, and for the trunk of the tree, I'd like it a browny orange colour, so I'll use some teeth of combs. And carefully fill up that centre section. Now it's ready to go. Switch on the oven or the electric fry pan to a fairly high temperature, about 200 degrees Celsius or 4 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Then carefully place the whole tray into the oven or the fry pan, like so. So I'll switch this on up to 200 Celsius, there we are and then place the lid on the fry pan or close the door of the oven and go away for about 20 minutes. That's about how long it'll take for the plastic to melt. Now if you like you can come back every 10 minutes or so and just have a little peek. And after 20 minutes you'll find something absolutely remarkable has happened. The fry pan's been on for 20 minutes, 10 minutes to cool down. What do we have? Lift the lid and look at that. All the little plastic pieces have melted into one another and we now have an artificial lead light decoration. What are you going to do with it? I'm glad you asked. You could hang it on your bedroom window, you could hang it underneath the light, or you could even hang it on the Christmas tree. That's a simple little lead light decoration that you've made yourself. Here are some windows that have been made by lead light craftsmen over the centuries. <laughs>